is, is, is what mm-hmm. it costs, minimal. And it costs a lot more than that if you go over time. So it's a very expensive undertaking. Um, and on top of that, people who go into geothermal energy exploration would generally dig what we call exploratory holes. In other words, we wouldn't go into full production holes unless we do some testing. We decided not to do that. We were so gung-ho that we decided to invest the full amount in, 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 in digging the three holes, even though the first and the second uh, proved that they're not likely to be working. We went mm-hmm. ahead and did all three, and none of them is likely to yield uh, the electricity that we're looking for. And, and do you think that after doing that and, and they saw that the outcome was not looking favorable, they should have considered other locations? Well, that is one of the questions that they, they certainly will have to answer because the, the technology associated with it, uh, geothermal exploration is there for all to see. The, you have the experiences from around the world. And, uh, and the, let, let me just make a simple, try to get our listeners to be in tune with what is mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. In order to, to tap the heat that we know is that deep down in the earth, you need to dig in an area where the rocks are fissured, where there are cracks, where there are openings. The reason for this is that the rocks being so hot, you need to pump water in so the water goes through the rock and the water becomes superheated. You then take out that superheated water and you convert it to energy in the form of electricity. What we have discovered is where we dug the holes, there is heat, as expected, but the rock is solid. It does not allow water to pass through. It's not porous. It does not allow um, water to go through. And therefore, there's no potential for us to be able to extract the heat for the purpose of of, of turning it into uh, electricity. If you take the first one and and you you found this kind of a formation, you take the second one and you find the same kind of formation. I mean, what are you hoping for in digging the third one? You know, um... It, 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 it's a little bit mind, mind, mind-boggling because, as I said, the cost is not cheap. It's over $10 million EC dollars a hole. Right. Um, on the topic of cost, we do have a WhatsApp message here, okay? Uh, mm-hmm. Someone from our WhatsApp is saying that the monies spent on the ge- geothermal project, was that not being granted? if it wasn't um, grant money. And this person is going on to ask, how would the New Democratic Party have gone about funding a project like this? Well, first of all, it is not grants money. The Caribbean Development Bank um, uh, sourced the funds from a number of agencies, and the condition is that if the, if the wells, if the project is unsuccessful, we would not have to pay. That's right. that, that, that is a condition. Hmm? It's not grant money. It's, if the wells were, were productive, we would have to pay. Because they are not productive, um, we are exempted from paying. But the project in its initial stage uh, went in a, in a manner that we found very disturbing as well. In addition to the, the funds from the Caribbean Development Bank, this government allowed private sector uh, firms to put their money into the exploratory part of the thing. Now, nobody, nobody is going to put their money into a project unless they're guaranteed they're going to get their money back and they're going to get it with a high rate of interest. Mm. And our listeners will note that this firm, one of these firms pulled out of the project unceremoniously. And we don't know what payments were made to them. We don't know what part of their investment they got back because they invested, you know, in the dicey, easy part of, of, of the work, the exploratory work. They didn't invest in, in, the, in the plant or something that, you know, you cover the, the energy is workable and you build in a plant and they invest in. No, they invested in the exploration and that comes with very high risk. And we all know that nobody puts their money into that unless they, they, they guarantee they're going to get it back and a high rate of, of, of return. So yes, the, um, 
out of the funds involved in this, so fortunately for us, we, we won't have to pay back. But listen to this. Consider, and this is a lot of money, consider what we as a people could have done with that money if it were invested properly and not thrown down the, the, the deep hole as it turned out to be. And, and one has to ask the question, why was the North windward side chosen instead of the North seaward? Did it have anything to do with the fact that the ULP controlled the North um, windward constituency? Did it have anything to do with the fact that it's near to the constituency of the Prime Minister in North Central windward? These are questions the intentions have to ask because we do, up to now we do not have an ex- explanation as to why the site was chosen. We in the NDP very early asked why is not windward and not not leeward. We never got any answer. And I think Vincentians need today to ask, why is it that that site was chosen over the North Leeward, where there is um, clear evidence of, of some measure of fishing that would allow for possible extraction of, of heat? And that, that is a, an, an area of grave concern. In addition to the, the drilling, you know, we have expended huge sums. We have to pay consultants a lot of money for, for managing the project and, and, and that, mo- that has got to be paid. That is wasted money. Um, we're still to get an exact figure of how much that is. We, we, we also, as part of the drilling, had to build a dam uh, that could get water uh, available for the drilling um, uh, component. All of this we also had to purchase lands uh, in, in the area and prepare all kind of site, site works. And that is absolutely useless stuff uh, now that the project is not likely to be um, to be any go anytime soon or anytime at all. So considerable sums and energy have been wasted and these are huge sums that would have been bringing employment to hundreds of people in the country if it were directed properly. And it's a, for us, it's a huge loss. Um, also bear in mind, you know, and you don't get nothing for nothing. Mm. Because we don't have to pay back, no mean we, it doesn't come at a cost. Um, the, the international agencies are going to look very dimly at investing um, low, low, low interest um, money in St. Vincent, given this unfortunate and sickening experience. Because I don't understand what the rationale was in, uh, and the methodology was in selecting the site and not going with exploratory wells, um, not looking at uh, the, the, the exciting leeward side versus the windward side and so forth. These are questions that uh, a lot of agencies will be looking at um, in retrospect, and they could, uh, could not be um, singing very well for us as a people. It will restrict our ability to, to access um, uh, loans and, and grants, uh, loans that, uh, from these facilities are usually at low interest. And um, so it, the fact that we don't have to pay back a good part of the loan, it doesn't say that it doesn't cost us. Mm. There's a price to pay. There's no free meal. It is a big, it's a big blot on, on our own um, finance and economic um, path, quite apart from the fact that we've lost a golden opportunity to develop a sustainable source of energy at relatively low cost. Uh, that could see us uh, encouraging industries here in St. Vincent and Agrest. St. Vincent has a beautiful water supply system despite the pitfalls of the dry season. We have good quality water. We have groundwater that we can use even in the dry season. So if we have an electricity supply that is stable and relatively cheap, those two things combined, the, the quality water, abundant quality water, and stable, cheap electricity, we will be in a position to attract a particular type of, uh, of industries that can create quality employment for people. And, you know, employment is one of the big, big, big concerns in this country. So we've lost big time. That project is, is, is really another um, colossal failure on the part of this so-called government. Uh, Mr. Cummings, uh, as we wrap up, I'm going to try to get one more question in with you, okay, from our I WhatsApp. Order. All right, so someone is saying, why wasn't the new Democratic Party harder on the government making its decisions concerning the geothermal project? 
Well, some people need to understand how the system of government works. Government has a majority, slight as it is. Even though the, the New Democratic Party kick and scream and, and object, the government is going to bulldoze its way. Uh, I, I remind our listeners, you know, I, um, after the last election in 20, early in 2011, when they tried to bring some draconian measures into the parliament, and we as parliamentarians in opposition stood up, all of us were unceremoniously kicked and thrown out of the parliament building. And uh, there's a matter before the court on that, and it, up to now it, it, it is not going very far. Uh, um, so that the bottom line in, in our so-called democracy, the government with its majority has the authority, slight as it is, and, it, and, and as crooked as, uh, as the election was, which is still before the court. They, they, they are the government, and they have the authority. Uh, it is only if the voice of the people uh, stand up loud and clear. And, and it seems to me that our people are not, um, don't seem to have the where at all to stand up and say, no, this is not uh, where we want to go. But you see, um, unfortunately, in, in our country, too many of these decisions are taken based on a partisan political line. A geothermal project of the kind should not have been postulated as a, as a ULP project with, with equipment paraded on the street with red flags and so forth. They, they, all of this is what is adding to the failure of the project. Views that are not in sync with, their, with theirs are views as partisan and are not therefore incorporated. And we all suffer for that. This project would have been properly executed. We know we have potential for geothermal energy on St. Vincent, but we understand that there are the right ways and the wrong way. And this one clearly was not done properly, and we have lost. We have lost big time. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Cummins. Thank you very much. Go. All right. Have a great day. All right. That was a paid programming from the New Democratic Party. We still got more to come right here on OMG in the morning. Make sure that you keep it locked on. For over 100 years, the First St. Vincent Bank, locally owned, locally operated, have diligently served the farmers, the fisher folk, and the small man. Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yeah, what's up, Flex? OMG in the morning, what's up next? Jillin' shady, they plain tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we buy far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister, the leader, platinum jump. The lid so sinister. It's tougher, laser puncher. Big up, Dr. King. Weapon our shit and everything. Good vibes, vibes. We're blazing tunes. So stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom. 1069. Have you hanging with the stars? You'll be chilling on the moon. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. We lighten up the morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. OMG in the morning. Yo, it's your boy DJ Diego of Boom 1069. Just giving you a little sneak peek of behind the scenes of what we do to keep our scene clean and stop the spread of COVID-19. We all have to do our part to stop the spread. Stay home, stay safe, stop the spread. A message from Boom 1069 and IKTV. Isn't it good to know that no matter where you are, you're covered? Covered by a company owned by Vincentian that understands your unique insurance needs. At Metrosint General Insurance Company, we've invested 50 years of service to guarantee that you have the peace of mind that you deserve. When it comes to motor vehicle, property, employer's liability, business insurance, and much more, we've got you covered. Our professional and friendly staff understands your needs and ensures you understand your options. Metrosent General Insurance Company. Isn't it? The spread of viral infections including the flu and COVID-19 by practicing proper hand washing. Follow these simple steps. 
Remove all jewelry before washing hands. Wet hands using running water. Place liquid soap in hand. Circulate using rotational movements, interlace fingers, and repeat switching hands. Wash back of fingers, rotating them in the palms. Wash fingertips, rotating them in palms. Wash thumbs using rotational movements. Thoroughly wash hands down to the wrist. Rinse hands. Dry with clean tissue. Turn off tap using tissue. Use tissue to open door and discard in bin. A simple act can make a huge difference. Stop the spread of viral infections including the flu and COVID-19 by practicing proper hand washing. This is a message from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yeah, what's up, Flex? OMG in the morning, what's up next? Jill and Shady, they playing tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we buy far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. Later, platinum juggling, so sinister. Tougher, laser puncher, big up, Dr. King. Weapon, our shit and everything. Good vibes, vibes, with blade. In tune, so stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom, 1069, have you hanging with the stars, you be chilling on the moon, No, everybody say boom, everybody say boom, 1069, now everybody say boom, everybody say boom, 1069, yo Danny, yo Bing, yeah, what's up Flex, OMG in the morning, what's up next, Jill and Shady, they playing tune, hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we buy far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. Later, platinum juggling, so sinister. Tougher, laser puncher, big up, Dr. King. Weapon, our shit, and everything. Good vibes, vibes, we're blazing tunes. So stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom. 1069, have you hanging with the stars? You be chilling on the moon. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. Straight up, real talk, unfiltered, and in your in face. Your face. J Jerry, Jerry George, George on Boom 106. Boom 106. All right, we're going to wait on our call for Jerry. But remember that Four Shells, the award-winning seafood joint, is currently closed for upgrades. They're going to be back with the public on June 22nd. And the management and staff is apologizing for any inconvenience caused. All right, on the line with us right now is Jerry George. Yes, Jerry, uh, apologizing for being late. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm coming there, but there was a, a noise in the background there. Yeah, okay, okay it's gone. It's gone. Uh -huh. My apologies. We needed to get in. I had their rules. That I gotta, I gotta follow around here. Okay, I had to get in. Yes, right. we apologize for uh -huh. the tardiness. We, we're trying. How are you doing, there, Jerry? I'm very well, thank you. Listen, you see, you see you. You and I need a word, okay? Because I don't know what are these things. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding what these things are. Like the the <laughs> yes, we, I think that needs Maybe to be some not. prayer. <laughs> I think that needs to be some prayer among us, honestly. honestly. Uh, Jerry, mm -hmm. did you hear our call with Mr. Cummins? Yes, Sorry. I did. Okay. I did. What, what, how did you think he, he presented this morning. There's one thing maybe he, well, my understanding is, and maybe he, he should check it, but I understand that the $80 million that we got is a loan. But my, my understanding has been that the $80 million is repairable once you find a heat source. 
I don't think it said if the project is successful. Mm-hmm. It says if we found a heat source. So did we find a heat source? This is my thinking about it. I'd like to hear the people involved say otherwise. We found a heat source. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't a heat source that we could use. And in terms of accountability so with, 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 with the entire, you know, the, the project and, and things not working out, in terms of being accountable, do you think that we've been given enough information, we've been kept up to date as much as we should have on the entire process? No, I think I think the, the authorities are happy that this kind of got overshadowed by all the COVID stuff. But let, 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 me, let me go back to the beginning. Mm-hmm. The problem with a project like this, and, like, this administration has made with so many things. They make it too political and too visible up the front. Let me tell you why I say that. Nevis attempted a geothermal. Dominica that has five volcanoes in Dominica attempted and they fail. When we go to it, we must have a sense, listen, there is a huge risk we're going to take here, you know? But it was touted and presented and profiled as this guarantee that we were going to get something. So we had all this big uh, jump up and back and all and stuff over it, making people feel that once you drill the hole, it's done. But I am saying, if Nevis failed, if Dominica failed, we should have approached this whole thing with a complete different approach, a cautionary approach that, yes, we're going to do this thing, but let's 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 not jump yet, you know. Um, let's let's wait until the outcome. But it is the approach we have taken to too many national issues. They become political things, mm. and that is why the government will have to take the licks when these things happen. We are not doing things that are presented to the country as being national. We are presenting stuff that are being party political, and that is why. People will look at the project and and, and, and and put the failure on the party. This should not happen. But do you think Everybody. people are really putting the failure on the party? Well, put it this way. Where is the, where is the failure going? No, keep in mind... Because that, at no, the go end, ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I'm trying to understand. Because I'm, I'm, ju- I'm, I'm, I'm hearing persons speak about it and they are putting the blame on, well, 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 who's drilling and, and who made the decision to drill here and, and you know, who is who, which companies is in, all kinds of blame is being... Yeah, because we like to do that. But listen to the reality. The reality is this. If it had succeeded, who would have been praised? <laughs> Come, answer me. If it had been successful, who would have been sucking up the praise? You see, that's the thing about life. You have to take the good and the bad. And in leadership and that kind of position, you have to take everything that comes with it. It's something that, that I find in St. Vincent we don't seem to like to do. We are fine with taking all the adulation. But when there is some reason for things, we back backing away at it. And that is why I made the point yesterday morning that there are many people in senior position and management positions who want the job because it glorifies them. But when a problem comes up, they're the ones who go missing. Maybe it's the style of management that they see um, every day. But if you are this administration and you decide to go into a project like this, it is you who must take it. But I am saying we have to stop this thing and whether it's this administration or the next one, whoever it is, we must stop these things when we are using taxpayers' money and make a presenting them as if there is some political thing to it. It is at the end of the day, it is taxpayers' money who is lost. Not a political party money. So stop trying to make it a partisan political thing. You see, this is what we do. No. And as I say for something like this where the risks were high. Mm-hmm. And I gave you two reasons why I, I was watching this thing. I actually called and spoke to some of the people who worked with the project in Nevis when I heard about this coming up. I spoke, I talked and spoke to the person, uh, the guy in, in Dominica who is saying, many of my good friends. I asked him, I said, what? He told me what to expect. So when I heard this happen, I was not surprised. In fact, one of the experts who I spoke to additionally, now, who works in the real business, said to me, the, of all the sites so far 
pursued in the region, Dominic is probably the one that is most salvageable. All right? In terms of how they can make it work. But I think it might be reduced from what they had anticipated. That's what he basically said to me. So I'm saying it's great to go this way, and I wish it worked. I really wish that the geothermal has worked, because mm-hmm. if it worked, the ability to change a lot of things is huge. Mm-hmm. But on the other side of the coin, we were using the experience of Iceland as our experience. Iceland experience could never be the experience that we could anticipate, because they have houses, heat and all kind of stuff. And so sometimes all of these things, we need to, we need to understand what they really mean, okay? What they really mean. So Iceland's whole uh, geology is different than ours. So I am sorry, it's it. The other thing that I, I'm sorry that never happened in the region is when Trinidad said they were going to put pipelines for gas right up to the region. It's one of the things that, one of the mistakes the entire region made. We should have allowed Trinidad to do that. Maybe Trinidad itself would not have been in the problems that they have mm. with their natural gas and stuff. But we sometimes just don't. We don't, and that's where we are today in terms of our development. It's really unfortunate, eh? It is unfortunate. All because right. in t- the truth is we could have sold electricity to Barbados and St. Lucia and so forth. Think of the Grenadines. I mean, uh, that would have been great. But we took a risk. Mm-hmm. It didn't work out, and there's nothing wrong with that because that is what life is about. I, you know, I'm one of these space buffs. I love space. And, uh, you know... Trying to get out there sometimes, rockets fail and things. This is part of the process. But we must stop making it. Um, look, they went off the space in the US a couple of weeks ago. Did it, was it a Republican thing? Although Trump tried to make it that way when he gets to speak. But it is the people putting an American back in space off of American soil. That is how it was sold. And we have to stop. We have to start to look at all things that we do and stop this. Partisan politicizing of taxpayers' money. Mm. Uh, Jerry, we've got a we've got a question here on WhatsApp. Someone mm-hmm. is saying, should we have a full audit on all the major projects done by the government from 2001 to present? For example, Argyle, etc. I mean, the, the country still has not been told how much Argyle has cost us, and that cannot be right. If you came to the country and you went to the parliament for money, you have a right properly to come for it. This is not about feelings now. This is just how things are to be. And yes, we should. We should. There should be an audit. The taxpayers of St. Vincent and the Grenadines must know what they are being held liable for after all of this. Because part of the problem of leadership is this, is that I make the decision. I look at these pros and the cons, the decision. If I fail, I have to accept the failure. If I succeed, I rejoice in the success. It's just the way it works. Whether it is a small business, a big business, or government, I suppose. Okay, Jerry, someone is asking if the project is really dead. Well, as far as I know, and I've spoken to people, the way to solve the project is to find a way to inject water onto the hot rock and let the water steam. Now, to do that, you have to find another company with those specialized skills to do that. It's going to cost a lot more than if it, if it had worked the way it should have worked. My understanding is the, the way I just described is going to cost way more than the actual cost of the project, the $80 million right now. Does that make sense? All right, we got and, as I say, and as I say to you, it's in, this is not the, the first place that this attempt has failed. Mm-hmm. It's failed in Nevis, it's failed in Dominic, because there's nothing in it, um, uh, wrong in failure and trying. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just sometimes how we set ourselves up to get a slap when these things happen. Okay, we have a comment here. I'm trying to get them in. In a developing country with limited resources, your investment must pay dividends. Yep. Our first investment should be in solar panels and collapsible wind turbine engines. Then, when we start to save money, we can take on risky investments like geothermal energy infrastructure development. What do you think about that comment? 
No, uh, the, the person is right. If, when you're in a small developing country, the risk that you can take are not the same risk that a developed country can take because they have they, they have revenues to cover the risk that they take. We don't. We, we have to take loans all the time, and when we take loans, we have it has to be paid. N- not just we, we we mortgage this generation and the next generation. That's what we do when we take loans like this that can't be repaid. The next generation has to pay these loans, mm-hmm. and that is why we all of us should should be very careful on this. You know, on these loans me. Because the next generation, when they should be advancing, taking different kind of projects, they can't do it because they don't have fiscal space because we wasted the money today. Okay? <clears throat> I was going to say something else that, that slipped my mind in terms of what the person was saying there. Um, the different approaches, but it probably will come back to me. Mm-hmm. I hope it does. Um, mm-hmm. But I do want to switch gears. I want to. Re- I want you to remember so that we can mm-hmm. get that out there so we can move on to something else. You still don't remember? Uh, no, still don't. If, it, if it's oh, significant enough, I'll probably say that, yeah. Okay. But go ahead. Now, the new drug that... COVID-19. Anything you, you, you want to say on, on that matter? It's interesting that when everybody was thinking that this is going to be some new fancy drug, <laughs> it's something that needs to be there, right? Because yes. I just, <laughs> as they better understand what the virus is doing, and clearly the virus has an inflammatory site to it, which is creating the problem. Because I, I've heard people say, doctors say, that, oh, it is not so much a ventilator that they need it, because what was happening is that the the inflammation that this virus is causing, which was causing people to drown, because the inflammation creates fluid within the lungs. The fluid within the lungs gets to a point if you don't get it out. The person actually drowned in their own fluid created by the virus. So this new drug mm-hmm. is a steroid that has these anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. But let's be warned, this is basically for people who would have died, <laughs> right? Mm. Because they got so bad. So let's not celebrate. We can celebrate to the fact that we might be able to save nice. more lives of right. people who are at that stage. But it does not stop the infection. Mm. What we need is a drug that deals with stopping the infection. That's where a vaccine comes in. Mm-hmm. So, But England has always said the same. Oxford group in, in England has said that they anticipate having a vaccine ready by Christmas. Let's hope that's true. Because that would change wanna, the face of everything. I don't really want to get hopes up too high. <laughs> you know, we got to stay positive, yes, but but we still have to... Um, no, we still have to do what we need to do now because it's yes. not going to change. And, and that's something I've been saying myself. We have been, uh, to some degree, and, and that's what I'm calling on the University of the West Indies to do a study. Mm. Why hasn't the, the, um, the virus manifested itself the same way in these islands as it has everywhere else. You know, I, that's, that's, that's a huge question. And I don't bring it down to, some people say it's luck. Some people say we have done such a great job. I don't know if it's any of those. Mm. Because some of it is not making sense. Mm-hmm. When you see what it is doing elsewhere mm-hmm. and what it has done here, maybe it is because we are not as connected to, except for say like Barbados and Antigua, we are not as connected mm-hmm. and the, the amount of traffic to us is not as much. But, but even in Barbados, Jerry. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> even in Barbados, so mm-hmm. it, really, it really begs the question. And, 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 and even the question that people talk about, oh, maybe it's heat. In the southern zone, it's moving into summer now. Sorry, moving into winter now. They had their summer months and they still had the infection. So it's not a heat thing. Some other people are saying it is a vitamin D thing. In other words, mm-hmm. um, wherever people live in the sunlight and their houses are open, that probably provides a bit. We don't know, and I would really love some the University of the West Indies to do a study on, on something like that. And I'm surprised more attention isn't being paid to the Caribbean, given how it's been going here for us. Well, maybe attention is being paid. Some of these things, attention is paid. You just don't know. <laughs> People do their own little studies. <laughs> we need to know. 
I, I heard some people saying, you know, we are part of some experiments. Has to be that we, we. I said, listen, I can't deal with the conspiracies. I cannot. Yeah, I don't part of these conspiracies. But I see what is happening in, in the United States after all of the. the I, I read two, two different reports. One different one report says, oh, um, they anticipated even more infections after all the protests and stuff. But mm. the data isn't showing that that has happened. So maybe. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't know. Understand. When it comes to the virus, I don't, I don't know. I don't show. Really but there's a second one. That. There's another strain of the virus that is um, manifesting itself at this point in Beijing. And so they're going back into closed down. And what they're saying about this particular um, new strain of the virus is that it, you're really not seeing it. <laughs> wow. You're not seeing it. It is asymptomatic by and large. You understand? Until boom. You, you get the manifestation and by then the persons that are, are really sick so I don't know I just think there's just so much we don't know about this new coronavirus and so we have to keep our guards up mm -hmm. that's the bottom line of the story some, some people might say well our guards up in the first place <laughs> well let's be thankful for small more season <laughs> let's be thankful uh, and it's not something that anybody could take any particular set of credit for because we don't know. You had to go there. You, you had oh, sorry, to go I'm there. Let me take it back. Take back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! But I still say it. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I'm gonna allow you to wrap up. Well, um, going back, starting with the normal thing. Mm -hmm. As as a country, like as individuals, we have to be be, be ready to take risks, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to new technology. We have been, I still am very disappointed with how technology is being used in a lot of our businesses uh, and the approach to how it is being used. A lot of people are going into stuff and they're not doing it the right way, okay? So it will cost them more in the long run. I have no problem with the country deciding to try geothermal. If indeed, in fact, there was a study that said it should have been on the leeward side, then somebody needs to tell us why they decided to put it on the windward side. Mm. That is, those are the questions I believe that need to be answered. Because to some degree, it's kind of logical. You, ha you have all the hot springs on the leeward side of the island. So I am all for us going in that direction. I think COVID will also force us as individuals, as businesses, as country to innovate. Innovation means taking risks, trying things. Some will work, some won't work. Mm -hmm. So let's not get stuck there, but it's how we do it that matters. Right. And I, again, I say that we have to stop this taking taxpayers' money that we're going to use and trying to make it a political partisan thing. It's taxpayers' money. When a political party tries something and it fails, the bill is left with the taxpayers for years to come. And finally, let's keep our guards up. Let's do the things that we're supposed to be doing with this coronavirus because it's supposed to mal. Everything changes and the viral and strain hits us. Are we ready? Hmm. We can't take chances. Let's be focused. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Real talk. Unfiltered and in your in face. Your face. J -J Jerry George on Boom 106. Boom 106. Outside. Right from the house, uh. took it straight from outside, straight to the couch. We put the mic outside. Edit out. Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yeah, what's up, Flex? OMG in the morning, what's up next? Jill and Shady, they playing tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we by far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. The leader, platinum juggling, so sinister. Tougher, laser puncher, big up Dr. King. Weapon our shit and everything. Good vibes, vibes, with blade. In tune, so stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom, 1069, have you hanging with the stars, you be chilling on the moon, no everybody say boom, everybody say boom, 1069, no everybody say boom, everybody say boom, 1069, 
On point, dropping shade and setting the trends. You drinking the hate raid? It's the Shade Room with Jill, 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 Jill and DJ Shady. DJ Shady on the Evolution Station. Boom, 1069. We lighten up the morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. OMG in the morning. Boom Chat Friday. Boom Chat Friday. It's a different kind of juggle on Boom. Everybody cups up. For the girl my guy loves If you know I mean. You chat We juggle Chat right here And you like chat Me no in a bank up Me no day a jail dash for the handcuff One in a rip pocket you know me tank up Six out here you know we run bro Big up your crew, street or block Sending them voice notes now Evolution of sound, evolution of music Evolution of radio Them no bad like me Like me, them no bad like me Like me, them no bad Boom no Chat Friday Go, 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 go 106.9 Boom Vibe Central plays in the most fire in the nighttime. Hey, yo, play that sh- again. Yeah. 8 p.m. to midnight with Platinum Jugglers on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. The Love Zone. The best RB jams, period. Hear it. Hear it on Boom 1069. Hey, on Thursdays we throw it back. Throwback Thursday, the biggest throwbacks all day. It's nothing but continuous urban jams. Lock it to the Evolution Station. We talk about your jams, the old school joints, everything. On Thursday, we throw it back. back. Let's throw back Thursdays on the Evolution Station. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. Throw back Thursday. When it's all about Evolution. 1069. Boom. 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 Locking down the entire universe. It's District 106 on the Boom. Boom. Galaxy by far. And DJ Flex on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. Yo, it's your boy DJ Diego of Boom 1069. Just giving you a little sneak peek of behind the scenes of what we do to keep our scene clean and stop the spread of COVID-19. We all have to do our part to stop the spread. Stay home. Stay safe, stop the spread. A message on Boom 1069 and IKTV. Good to know that no matter where you are, you're covered. Covered by a company owned by Vincentians that understands your unique insurance needs. At Metrosint General Insurance Company, we've invested 50 years of service to guarantee that you have the peace of mind that you deserve. When it comes to motor vehicle, property, employer's liability, business insurance, and much more, we've got you covered. Our professional and friendly staff understands your needs and ensures you understand your options. Metrosin General Insurance Company. Isn't it good to know that no matter where you are, you're covered? Covered by a company owned by Vincentians that understands your unique insurance needs. At Metrosint General Insurance Company, we've invested 50 years of service to guarantee that you have the peace of mind that you deserve. When it comes to motor vehicle, property, employer's liability, business insurance, and much more, we've got you covered. Our professional and friendly staff understands your needs and ensures you understand your options. Metrosint General Insurance Company. 
isn't it? Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yeah, what's up, Flex? What's up, Flex? OMG in the morning, what's up next? Jill and Shady, they're playing tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we by far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. The leader, platinum juggling, so sinister. It's tougher, laser puncher, big up, Dr. King. Weapon, our shit and everything. Good vibes, vibes, we're blazing tunes. So stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom. 1069. Have you hanging with the stars? You'll be chilling on the moon. Now everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. Now everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. Yo, you feel me? Spread of viral infections including the flu and COVID-19 by practicing proper hand washing. Follow these simple steps. Remove all jewelry before washing hands. Wet hands using running water. Place liquid soap in hand. Circulate using rotational movements, interlace fingers and repeat switching hands. Wash back of fingers rotating them in the palms. Wash fingertips rotating them in palms. Wash thumbs using rotational movements. Thoroughly wash hands down to the wrists. Rinse hands. Dry with clean tissue. Turn off tap using tissue. Use tissue to open door and discard in bin. A simple act can make a huge difference. Stop the spread of viral infections including the flu and COVID-19 by practicing proper hand washing. This is a message from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. To know that no matter where you are, you're covered. Covered by a company owned by Vincentians that understands your unique insurance needs. At Metrosint General Insurance Company, we've invested 50 years of service to guarantee that you have the peace of mind that you deserve. When it comes to motor vehicle, property, employer's liability, business insurance, and much more, we've got you covered. Our professional and friendly staff understands your needs and ensures you understand your options. Metrosin General Insurance Company. Isn't it? Hey, on Thursdays we throw it back away. Throwback Thursday, the biggest throwbacks all day. Hey. It's not nothing but continuous urban jams. Lock it to the Evolution Station. We talk about your jams, the old school joints, everything. On Thursday, we throw it back. Let's throw back Thursdays on the Evolution Station. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. Throwback Thursday. When it's about evolution. 1069 boom. 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 Here we go. Lock
rocking down the entire universe. It's District 106 on the Boom Galaxy by far. And DJ Flex on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. Yo, it's your boy DJ Diego of Boom 1069. Just giving you a little sneak peek of behind the scenes of what we do to keep our scene clean and stop the spread of COVID-19. We all have to... Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yo, what's up, Flex? Make it keep coming back. Love how you're flexible like I go back. When you're a recipe and you me watch up to class. Say she all about the G, not another one. I'll win my fool like girl like Salaman. She asked me, where me girl gone? Listen when me answer the girl question. She says she have a man, me have a girl too. Kelly on the beat, boy. Say she all about the G. Me. G. My girl, you know you think fast, so me keep loving that. Beat it. Make it keep coming back. Me love how you're flexible like a go back. When you're a sip and you me watch up your clap. Say she all about the G, not another one. I'll win my fool like girl like Salaman. She asked me, where me girl gone? Listen when me answer the girl question. She says she have a man, me have a girl too. The girl says she have a man, me have a girl too. Not you. Say she have a man, me have a girl too. My girl, she no need me. Why you just don't believe me? The girl says she want a G. Make she take a day in my life. Bring it, bring it, bring it outside. We drink any when the sun shines. We just do what we want. Let me tell you about me. I real G till my damn die. Every girl said them all right. I want that me to move wild. I said me to move wild. Me get the gallon, then the, the gallon But me no fall in love because me don't know the gallon Plenty woman want to breathe for the dance When me step in at the dance, every time we play the wet On a spill drink a cup, then me watch us Says she feel honey, uh, so she get it Baby girl, you don't know how the things set down no can ramp up with the sea Says she want a G, make she take a day in my life Bring it outside We drink any when the sun shines We just do what we want, let me tell you about me I real G till my damn die. Every guy said them all right. I want down me the move one. I said me the move one. My bad guy, my sad guy. Wow. Seven days in the week, the girl wants me. Oh, she wants me. She bought her boyfriend, cause you know she want to breathe for me. She said, you know me why, yeah. Girl, you're nice and clean, they make me call you. Yeah. Anything you do in this life, can me support you. Yeah. Just see you be me, I'm a arm, I'm a missus. You don't want anything with me, it's my skill. You've been a long time, so I have this fear. I'm a like on your eyes, so I can't forget you. You're both the Z-Techs, so I don't regret you. Just drink my iPhone when the boyfriend shuts you. Yeah. Leave me, girl, at home, I'm a need to see you. Yeah. She touched by me, be, she not even fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You say you don't want a relationship Hey, me a heart now be a fancy Say me a car thought you just be a dance it Be a girl a road flow with it for me Well, but make you fall in a love Set up like water in a tub If you open up the ear, take your half of the ground Not that long, you have to use such a long yeah. As we touch it, put the weight up Squeeze and make but they talk, you can't see the well, but no one that I make you fed up. You see me with the next girl that I make you jealous. Go me no say yo, love it and see you when you spend me a year. You say you know it's here, but I did buy to be not the only way. Tell your friend I'm ready to say. Hey, cock up, cock up, you fit, 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 fit. Tell that girl, my dad, you know, got no manners. Girl, from your little bit of grow, you were at us. Some girl, I catch us, don't know it like my trust. Girl, you're pretty like Kylie. Hope you don't make me go inside it. Wet up and it's slidey. Girl, girl. Fuck up in a trouble, trouble, drop in a your something. Fuck up in a your, yeah. Till you touch your belly button. Leave her off you move, all your lungs off you open. Yeah. Cardiac arrest, emergency, me press it open. Yeah. Sit down in a saddle, panic, panic, you feel bubble. Speed you with the buckle, you say shovel, chippy shovel. Play you till me weak and I struggle, you a struggle. Girl, you're tight, alright. Pretty like Kylie, Kylie. Hope you don't make me go inside it 
Back with up on this lady. Yeah, yeah. Girl. Girl, make you a call me. You're no more important. Send me a your baby. Better get abortion. Girl, them they are enough and them wet. Worship. I they left your man on the track like hot. Get a youth. Where we want to get? Rich. Yo, where we rich richer where we not do? Switch. Yo, what from where they are every girl get dick? See, don't pan the bitch up like you. The party, I get swell up. Everybody lit the fire well up. Jello shot, she said, go get the jello. Then I lean up on the wall, mirror, mirror, I'm so full. Now the moon probably get jealous. In the middle of my talk, let me tell you. Shun is something shit in your push and shun up. I'm a red or yellow, pull your G-string, shut up. Yeah, we live in, we no see no limit. Money visit, fully to the brim it. Spend a lily, gonna be family. When we did, we can't carry nothing with me. So we live in and we love in every minute. Yeah, we live in and we love in every minute. Yeah, we live in and we love in every minute. And every minute. Spread your wings Nothing is impossible Believe If I can do it You can spread your wings Nothing is impossible If I can do it You can spread your wings Blessing off a flow like a river 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 That for them finna I'm a leader. Shut them ready for pressing. Blessing up a flow like a river. Turn them back and we turn them in a believer. Man, feel like a jump right now. Smiling to the bank right now, yeah. Jenna, Jenna. Jenna. Man feel like a jump right now yeah. Smiling to the bank right now yeah. Man shining on the plans right now Start up to be my hand drive for ya yeah. So me happy give down to the world's boss Every time I touch a plane, now I first class No poor did I say me not very sure No more Jenna, Jenna, they in a them girl's hearts No man, I have a girl, you tied up Patience are the key for survival Babylon, anything me say is final Now the thing I forget like a 45 girl So me know why the one of them hate me Got me touch them sister and them wife and them side girl No make no boy be me spliff, that is vital No one them grab me who want me spliff vital Man feel like a jump right now Smiling to the bank right now, yeah Man shining on the plans right now Start up to be my hand drive for ya So me up the game down to the worst boss Every time we touch a plane, no one first class No four did I send me, no very sure No more Jenna, Jenna, take it at the girl now A father got a save them, they didn't even know that They took them and me buy me now only four back The place I run nice, me now at the top back Say there's a boy for cool and no give me tough chat I better say them see the road and fret for touch that No man now I feel no out of the talk shop Man in the front of the bleed, so run out of the house back I'm a tough fuck, sharp down or just any and weed Y'all are getting Roy, bricks from bricks that me need Buy anything me need, fly anywhere me need Go, bricks, bricks, adjust any young weed Y'all are get Roy, bricks from bricks that me need Buy anything me need, fly anywhere me need Go, bricks, so we find a turn in Reach a level where them can't hold me down again uh. No for them a look of money, make them turn a quenga uh. yeah. Even start the money, talk the young Michelle uh. Y'all a swing the free dogs from a cellar Feel the love of each other, just you be f**k your brother Have a rap f**k in the right, she a f**k up the leather <laughs> Them a light, we a thin a couple feather right. Yeah, we see them a hustle, but we a hustle better Ooh. 31 in a this f**k, brother, not no clever But set it out, move it down, sign, so we never Now go live with, so we stop this, I go go forever Left my heart out of this girl, we a f**k to pleasure From the start out of this, we turn it out the pressure See them last round of this, we come with something fresher Can't clout out of this, I'm gonna go for stretcher Different from troublemaker Bad winner Straight and not that make your vex. Come around with a smile by your face. Cocodile dinner, you may see them a bed. Them 
Don't want nobody and I go and like them as somebody. Don't want to stay out in the day. day you're here, big cabbage. Then go and see girls in the street where you never pick them kit. All be bad news, bang, bang. Then the big damage. Them boy, they are fruit. Don't he had me, no, no, what them manage. When them say them rate you, why she like that? Why she be language? Them just come round for your special. I will give you a special sandwich. Me no big friend to stop in there. They are strapped. Oh, your bad mind, sir. Glasses, boy, oh, your bad mind, sir. Are your friend, them, too? They are in your boy, where they go on a beat. Live like me, live no day. Make money straight and that make your play. Come around with a smile by your face. Coco tight in a MCD. Cock up your left foot, me fuck your right. Be a be a bring it tight, tell you, tell you, tight. Me fuck your outside, rap on the bike. Be a be a bring it tight, tell you, tight. Me want you more than one night. Be a be a bring it tight, tell you, tell you, tight. Give me some when me pull up on the light. Be a be a bring it tight, tell you, tell you, tight. Tell me she honey and she want. She the woman I wait for me She send me a video of the f**k And I tell me say I feel me Say she want me go inside it Me go inside it To fly away Car on the beach Let me touch private Do what we just come and go listen to it I wanna be low Like a mom on the rest We fighting up the morning 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. 10 a.m. OMG in the morning A nice, nice set there by my DJ Flex Oh man, you're so good at what you do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Danny. I'm so surprised that you're actually speaking right now. Yeah. I saw that you had already pushed the microphone. It oh, it is. It makes sense. sense. So I can do that right. Uh huh. If you say that. <laughs> All right, make sure that you check out IKTV, get the grill on COVID-19 with the facts, fears, as well as public service announcements from the Ministry of Health. On IKTV, you can also find videos with safety tips and educational information all on COVID-19+. Plus, They got you entertained with the latest videos and concerts from all your favorite artists. It's all on IKTV 112, all about you. And listen, ladies and the fellas, Morales, you too, you can get yourself a nice, beautiful, relaxing treat at Flawless Beauty Spa. They are collaborating with Royalty Drinks and Bar Services. They're wishing all the fathers in SVG Happy Father's Day in advance. Located in Sign Hill, straight ahead from the Sign Hill Medical Clinic. They're open on Mondays, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesdays to Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Get your pedicures, massages, flex. If you know you have a little tension, you need to get that worked out, you can go and get a massage. Get yourself your waxing done, facials as well well as body scrubs contact them at 4930793 that number again is 4930793 flawless beauty spa and royalty drinks and bar is part of dad is the boss of the house on boom 1069 and speaking of dad is the boss of the house that is a part of our big father's day promotion that we've got going down all you got to do is listen out for the cue and give us a call at 4511069 or you can send us a message or voice note to our station whatsApp at 4551069 Nine. All you got to do when you hear that cue is say dad is the boss of the house. And just like that, you are putting yourself or your dad into a draw to win a huge hamper full of gifts. And Morales was saying he hopes it's going to be a big hamper of gifts. It's a big hamper of gifts. I wish that I could be eligible for that hamper of gifts. What will you flex? I'm not a dad, but I'll accept it. <laughs> I, I think that by next year, the rate you're going with your whole cheesecake situation <laughs> that you might um you might suddenly, you know, be eligible, Flex. What, what do you think? No comment. What do you mean no comment, <laughs> Flex? You are not trying to um join the 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 dad club um soon? I'm not ready for that elite mm, club as yet. That um, yeah, that's a very elite club. And Morales? <laughs> yes, boy, you gotta be very special to be in that club. Let me play this real quick. Finna come through like a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning, my sister. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Well, you know, I always trade when you hear your voice. 
and um, you know, respectable way. And I'm glad you had Mr. Cummins on and we had Jerry on. And you know, a lot of people listening and I just, just got to clarify, just a quick a few things, quickly. Um, when Mr. Cummins said that, you know, that the NDP don't have a majority, basically that is not what the Honorable Landing has told us. He said basically they went to an election, um, six votes gave them, put them above the head, um, above the ULP. Um, 321 ballots got in a box that didn't have the official mark. We know that is a fact. And there is a, but uh, actually there are two petitions in the courts currently. And, but however, I want to say when I worked under the um, leadership of Rad Gonsab in 1998, when we got uh, the one seat difference, he did not, um, you know, succumb to that pressure. Um, because it's really, um, don't make no sense to say that a government get in a majority. All government would have a majority, but basically even if they had um, one that centrally would seat and not win what seat, obviously just by one seat. That doesn't give you the, um, the, the, the excuse that, well, you know, there's a majority and so. No, if they really understand how politics work, is that all they have to do is to organize, and they're disorganized. Um, you know, I've been talking what I send information on what I send a document from, C from Daniel Cummins, but how often do you hear Mr. Daniel Cummins? Other than on nice radio and they go in Parliament and they're a guy. They're not even, people didn't even know, actually, what is Majorca. And, I mean, it's not acceptable that there's so much knowledge. And hey, now look, they actually now actually having to pay. Pay what? Pay for what? You, we have a program here. Uh, Cummins is not the only one. There's hundreds of them, thousands of them in the NDP. That can do like me. I'm not paid, and they could come and give information. They're not doing that. All they do is they jump on a radio station and block out people. One other thing, the matter of the um, CWS in terms of what we're speaking about has to do with viability, and it has also to do with the constitution. And we have a constitution with laws that gave. Um, the all the politicians, not just one side, to account for our back tax with money. Section 70, for example, 75, 76. We need what has happened to the public accounts committee, Mr. Cummins. What has happened to the to to, to the auditor general, the accountant general? And and I'm only saying in terms of CWS. What about viability? What has happened to the 13 statutory bodies? What has happened to the NCB? What, what, are they fight, I mean, uh, do we have auditors looking into these things? And what has happened is because of the very weakness of this very same party that Mr. Cummings is in, is that this, they, they, they long to get away. If you don't hear um, Jerry George, and, and let me thank him, because, you know, he's been one of the individuals who've been coming to the airways with the truth. He's not, you, sometimes you don't know who he's supporting. <laughs> One final thing, in terms of um, my sister, um, it, the, the, this um, coronavirus, we called into the exports. I don't think anybody would have done more research than me. I'm not an, ex, uh, an export, but I read a lot. That this current drug, you know, what do they call it? Dex, uh, let me just spell the name. D-X-A-M-E-T-H-A-S-O-N-E. -E. They call it Dexamethasone. This is really a, a, a steroid that actually helps to aid the, the very process when you do, you know, the... Um, you put that tube, you call it intubation, you put that tube down through your throat and, you know, you, you know when that patient reaches that level. And so what are they saying when you get this, this drug, it helps, you know, as much as one third to, to uh, in, in, in reduction in, 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 in mortality. It's, 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 a, it's a good breakthrough because I knew a lot of the older people and so on. But what about these people who don't go um, to that level? Because a lot of people are not even reaching to that level, so it can't help them. Our main concern right now is not just a drug, it's to make sure that we help to, you know, facilitate that process, to help the doctors so we could get that vaccine. It's the only way. Other than that, we have to continue to social distance. We have to continue to wash our hands. We have to continue to use um, uh, the, 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 the mask. And we cannot make that mistake like a cardinal error that I'm seeing now that New Zealand is making, and that even though New Zealand was able to actually dry out that virus out of the country, they're actually telling people, don't, don't wash your hands anymore, don't social distance. New Zealand, that is not the way you should do it, because as you know, one case slip, could slip through, and then the whole thing can spread. So we have to continue to encourage our children, our family, our people. Ask yourself this question, and maybe when you come back, you could, you could give me the answer. <laughs> what percent is our population is even wearing a mask? Are we seeing even the very politicians in the NDP and the ULP wearing masks? And to set that example, and I want to set you on based on my research, no. They all have failed us. And that is why we need a new bunch of proper politicians in this country. We need voices like Jerry George mm -hmm. that can speak for the people of this country. Hey, these people are paid with our taxpayers' money and all they want to do is block people out of a radio station, Mr. Cummins. Mr. Cummins, how could you be part of a radio station blocking out people? All right, Mr.
Thanks for having me. 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 So it's not a question of if we should have audits. We must have audits. Another WhatsApp message based on per capita, the numbers in the Caribbean are high and even higher than many other places. All right, still to join us is Dr. Richards. He's going to be on with us in a few minutes. So you can look around, stick around for that. Look forward to that. He's coming up next on OMG in the morning. In the meantime, can I have a tune for my DJ? Yes, yes. All right, Flex is going to take us away with a tune real quick. Yeah, spot that I am. Rich badness, Rolex, and a bangle. Pins fly down like drunk. Blow a million in it, and me feel high. Them girlfriends spot me from a mile. Said them boyfriend me like stable. Man a leader while them a disciple. So we got more verse than the Bible. Money green team love like stone Be my roll up, girl a pitch for bomb. Yo, do we hit it hotter than Cobra? We a run the street night time like robot. Money green team love like stone love. Stink like sore foot First class man I surf Not even Not a funny Yo I want Steve Urkel Tell him catch up Them slow like Turk Yo we a do it big right now Make it rain anytime Make a club P.F. Make everybody Don't even know me thing Okay I'm broke The secret is out First, St. Vincent Bank is the best kept Yo, secret Danny, yo, Bing, yo, what's up, Flex? What's up, Flex? OMG what's in the morning, what's up next? Jill and Shady, they're playing tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we by far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. Later, platinum juggling, so sinister. Tougher, laser puncher, big up, Dr. King, weapon arch. Everything. Good vibes, vibes, we're blazing tunes So stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom 1069, have you hanging with the stars? You be chilling on the moon, now everybody say boom Everybody say boom, 1069, now everybody say boom Everybody say boom, 1069 Yo, Danny. We lighten up the morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. <laughs> OMG in the morning. Boom Chat Friday. Boom Chat Friday. It's a different kind of juggle on Boom. Everybody cups up. Everybody cups up. For the girl my guy loves. If you know. You chat. We juggle. Chat Fridays. And you like chat. 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 Me no in a bank up. Me no day a jail dash for the handcuff. Money in our pocket, you know me tank up. Six out here, you know we run pro. Big up your crew, street or block. Sending them voice notes, no. Evolution of sound, evolution of music, evolution of radio. Them no bad like me, like me. Them no bad like me, like me. Them no bad. Boom no chat Friday. Go 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 go. 1069 boom. Vibe Central plays in the most fire in the nighttime. Hey, yo, play that sh again. Yes. 8 p.m. to midnight with Platinum Jugglers on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. The Love Zone. The best RB jams, period. Hear it. Hear it on Boom 1069. Locking down the entire universe. It's District 106 on the Boom. Galaxy by far. And DJ Flex on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. Yo, it's your boy DJ Diego of Boom 1069. Just giving you a little sneak peek of behind the scenes of what we do to keep our scene clean and stop the spread of COVID-19. We all have to do our part to stop the spread. Stay home. Stay safe, stop the spread. A message on Boom 1069 and IKTV.
As a doctor and first responder in the fight against COVID-19, we use the N95 mask to protect ourselves and our patients. We are therefore asking you, the public, not to use or abuse the N95 mask. They are exclusively for medical and nursing personnel. Help us to save you and to save ourselves. Yo, Bing, yo, what's up, Flint? Look at things with a wider lens. Pastor Richards on OMG. On the line, we've got Dr. Richards joining us. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning to the rising star of morning radio. What? <laughs> no, 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 But good morning to you. How are you doing? <laughs> you don't want to accept good morning. No, 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 you don't no. want to accept that, do no, you? Moving swiftly along. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pause no, forward no, no. there. Mm -mm. Come on, I'm speaking to you as a counselor now, Denny. People you need see, to accept. No, you see, Pastor, you see what you're just there? Now, now you make me have to listen to what you're saying because you, you, you're you using this counsel. Counsel, you yeah, you know, right? Because I counsel people through these things all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to accept um, who you are and, and what's in your plate and um, just move with it. And if, if you a poisoned position to make an impact. What you bring to the table matters and um, it has a particular character about it um, in the way you do morning show. And um, I don't know whether it's because you're female, um, in <laughs> what is uh, male dominated um, uh, enterprise mm. or whatever, but you bring something to the table that is different. And so if people appreciate that and say, hey, Good job. Why can't you accept that? Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> there you go. That's, there you go. that's good. That's good. better. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> okay. Now, how but, are you? You're good? Uh, You're yeah. Right? Well, I was doing really well until I um, started checking my messages this morning. And uh, people message me, people get my number and message me all kind of things. And mm -hmm. somebody messaged me something that kind of threw me off. Um, something about PNH in the youth. And I've had a good education, by the way, um, here in St. Vincent and in the United States. But for mm -hmm. somehow, that slipped through, this whole thing about peonage. I, I, and I never really followed up on that. No, they didn't teach me that. Um, and black coats um, in the United States, in the southern United States. So, I mean, I had my morning going really well. And then, you know, I got this message about check out peonage in the United States and mm -hmm. check out black coats and... You know, let me know what you think. And I found out what really that's all about. And it kind of threw me off. Mm. Really, really threw me off. You know, apparently, after the 13th Amendment um, that abolished slavery in the United States, there's a federal kind of proclamation governing all the states. Apparently, individual states uh, were allowed to recover from that in the sense, I mean, you understand what slave meant to productivity. Mm ongoing production and when you take that workforce away you have to have um, labor coming from somewhere so the brilliant idea apparently in these southern states was to come up with um, a system that would allow well basically get blacks back onto the plantations and doing work and uh, apparently again the 13th amendment um, forbid slave labor except for using the labor of convicts. So, here's what happened. And I actually did, started research. You know me already. I go look at if somebody said something. Actually, I messaged back. The person said, I would have to research this. Mm -hmm. And immediately I started researching. 
and found out that some of these southern states passed what were called black codes governing the behavior of freed men, which is the blacks that were freed after the abolition of slavery. And they were very, very restricted, restrictive um, codes, which if you didn't have a job, for example, you were deemed to be a vagrant and therefore you were locked up. Well, duh. So that's basically a license to lock up black men. Mm. Seriously, if you didn't have a job, and, and the vagrancy laws were a major part of the black codes, uh, you were locked up. And uh, also, for example, if you were preaching to a um, congregation, and preaching was very used, um, loosely defined, and you didn't have a license issued by the dominant population, which was white, if you didn't have that, the state legislature did not issue you a license to preach, and you started holding services and preaching um, like you did prior to ab abolition, but you were doing that now, you could be locked up. And just a whole number of very repressive laws that um, these state legislatures were allowed to pass called the Black Codes. I mean, I had never heard about this. I started researching and reading real fast, so that's what I've been doing. Like, boy, so I got into the reading, and the more I read, I got, the more I got upset. And then once you have this um, uh, group of black men locked up and con you know, convicted of violating these black codes, then the, the system was that as a convict, you had to walk off your labor, um, you know, and so the plantation owners would pay the state to have these convicts, black convicts, Anyway, they want, that's not what I want to talk about this morning, to be honest. Well, you're educating us on something I'm sure many of us don't know about. Yeah, it was, I mean, and the play, and pay, pay the state, so the state got money off. So listen, listen to this. If there's a bounty, really, because it's, it's like bounty hunting. If you have a bounty now on black men, um, and, and it's lucrative for the state to have more. It's lucrative both for the state and for the plantation owners mm -hmm. to have more black men incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So the incarceration of black men is not really a new thing. It just got me walked up, walked up, walked up. And, and for economic reasons and for profiteering, um, black codes were allowed to be passed by the, slave, um, by the state legislature, which allowed for the willy-nilly um, incarceration of black men and for the express purpose of hiring them out to walk off their um, conviction, to hire them out to plantation. And the money wasn't going into the black men's pocket. Black men were duly obliged to work as um, convicts. Uh, but the, the plantation owners were paying off the, the state to do this. And um, license to hunt black men were, I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, and to have them incarcerated and so practically nothing. You come off um, abolition of slavery where your life was controlled and you trying to find employment elsewhere. You are unemployed mm -hmm. and, and you are a vagrant because you don't have a job and you are locked up and basically sold out. This is a new form. Slavery just reinvented itself. When yeah. I read all of this, I'm like, slavery mm -hmm. reinvented itself. And not only that, once these blacks um, were locked up or were considered to be vagrants, their children under the age of 18, um, if the female was under 18, I think if the male was under 20, um, they were subject to um, also this condition where the state would, quote-unquote, adopt them and hire them out um, for pay. Um, it, it, it basically, it was a rebrand. I read it, and my opinion, not the research that I read, but my opinion, this was a rebranding of slavery. And in fact, it got me to think that as system morphed throughout the age, whether it was the late 1800s or 1900s or into the century, all that is happening is that the economic system and the system of servitude is changing its name, changing its clothes, but servitude is still servitude. Mm -hmm. And it just, the only thing is just taking me off. May the grace of God help me to get past this today because, uh, I mean, it's historical. I know it's gone, but every time I discover something new that happened, um, to my people, mm -hmm. because I, I, you know, some research that I was looking at, the other genetic research that was done related to us, I realized that I have a very, 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 very strong link to Nigeria. You know, these yeah. genetic um, um, ancestry research things done. So I have a very, uh, so had it not been, and I say all the time, had it not been for the actions of slave owners and these slave traders. 
Um, I would have been born somewhere over mm. in Africa, most likely Nigeria. That's where I would have been today. Um, and um, so every time I read um, of stuff like this, I am thinking it's just by the luck of the draw that I was not born in U.S. or in Nigeria, but I was born here in St. Vincent. But um, it, it, so it could have been my four parents in the U.S. who would have gone through this. It's just the luck of the draw that we got shipped here. So I am not really divorced um, because this is part of my ancestry and this is part of my lineage mm -hmm. and this is what was done to my people. So I, it, you can understand it. It, it bothers me even mm -hmm. if it is historical when you realize what was done and why it was done, that slaves and black people were seen to be property and, um, in fact, uh, in some accounts, worse off than animals. Um, it, 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 it just stirs you up, and it's not what I wanted to read. It's not what I intended to read this morning, but somebody sent me something, and I don't buy things without research. Um, so, and I just don't dismiss something because I'm like, I might learn something new. And I started researching and it just threw me off. Okay, so mm. uh, the terms are peonage, if anybody wants to do their own research and get their morning upset. Oh, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Peonage and black codes in the southern states. Peonage, P-E-O-N-A-G-E, and black codes in the southern states. Let me drop that right there. And, you know, Pastor, it's 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 mind blowing to think that there's all of these things are are still happening in in different forms. That is exactly my conclusion. I am thinking that the repression is being morphed. Mm -hmm. um, so black men are wearing suits mm -hmm. or um, in offices, air conditioned offices, so they're not out in the field anymore. Uh, but I, I just want to ask myself if the plantation system is not still with us. Mm. Um, I, again, I could be just speaking off the top of my emotion because I'm upset this morning, so let me just chill and move away from this topic. Yeah, is that sorry. okay? Of course, of yeah, course. But you understand why I'm, I'm upset? Completely. I, I, I understand. And, that, and what, what I just said is what, for me, would be even more upsetting. The fact that we are seeing these things still taking place today. Of course, you, you consider the black population of the U.S. Daniel, uh, what percentage it is, and then you consider the prison population. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, what you consider the bail system. HBO did an excellent documentary on bail and why um, whites <laughs> um, are not that much in prison compared to the black percentage population, proportion of the population in prison. And the bail system, the structure of the bail system is, is such that it is favorable more so to Caucasians than to the, the black blacks. And, and, and what a bail does to you, um, it basically impoverishes, impoverishes your generation or your people because um, the, the, um, the bail bondsmen um, just do the research. I mean, I don't want to take up the time talking about that this morning, but it is so. It is one of these kind of um, shark kind of loans where you get the money. It's almost like the mafia. You get the money, but they own you. You'll never be able to pay it. It's like a very, very aggressive credit card where mm. <laughs> you basically, you if you take out a uh, credit card with 20% um, API or something like that, you will be paying um, installments for the rest of your life. Mm. It's just, I think more and more about the system. The system is very repressive. Mm -hmm. well, we talk about system, systemic racism. The system seems to be very, very repressive. And when you investigate it, because on the surface it seems like all the blacks are doing well on all of that. But when, when I listen, as I have been listening to research and I listen to what's happening in health, um, I listen to what's happening in housing and um, other sectors, I listen to what's happening in prison, imprisonment, incarceration, of, and I do the comparative analysis, and, and all the comparative analysis is done for me by reputable people, and I read through the comparative analysis. I realize this is ridiculous. I mean, it is very clear to me. I mean, even a blind man can see, boy, a black man in the United States and have it easy. Mm -hmm. Just facts. Just facts. Mm -hmm. Just facts. Absolute facts. Um, 
But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I know. About I was just morning. going to say, well, well, you know, we, we, we are strapped for time. <laughs> oh, well, we could talk about that tomorrow then, okay? Are you no, but Pastor, you you don't want to at least touch on what you wanted to. Well, yeah, know. because yesterday. Oh, by the way, I want to thank um, the people who listened to my commentary yesterday and mm -hmm. let me know that it was helpful to them. I, I really, really appreciate was. that. It really was. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the um, macro structure. And I said yesterday that St. Vincent was uh, probably one of the safest places on earth. If you look at it from a macro structure point of view, one of the safest places on earth for children because, um, you know, of all that we had in place, legal structure, social structure, organizational structure, you know, it was really polished and looking good. But I, I also said that when you examine the micro-reality, it was different from the macro structure. Uh, one of the things I also said yesterday is that um, the law, we have a great law, um, the Children Care and the Protection Act of 2010, um, modifications here and there, to govern, uh, you know, abuses uh, and of all kinds related to children and the adoption of children and the removal of children from their homes. And it's really a good, I'd be, I'd be honest, Daniel, those who are responsible for putting this in place, it is a really good act. Compared to what I read for in the Trinidad, um, the similar um, act in Trinidad and also the similar act in um, Jamaica. I think Jamaica is called um, Child, Children Care and Protect um, Protection Act or something like that. But compared to what I read there, there are some for penalties, I think, outlined in the Jamaica Act, for example. But um, even so, I find that the St. Vincent Act is a really, really good act. So let me commend um, the fact that we have this act here in St. Vincent. But let me also decry the fact that people don't know about it. Daniel, I'm not sure if you are aware of all of it and the ramifications and other people. So yesterday when people commented, you know, and let me know that at least they appreciate the fact that I'm raising their awareness as mm -hmm. to what this act is so that, um, you know, they can go out and check it out. Again, let me say that this is an act. Um, I don't know what percentage of our population um, is children, but I su suspect that that demographic is going to be high. And uh, also that some of them are in abusive situations, given certain sociological understandings of um, depressed communities. I expect that um, some of our children, whether they're financial deprivation or emotional abuse, or even, even some we know, not, I'm not going to say that is predominantly physical abuse, but there's some physical abuse, and we hear from time to time, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, too frequently we hear of sexual abuse of children. Mm -hmm. So we know that this is a reality here in Savannah and the Grenadines, and we need to know what the recourse is, seeing that we have incidences of this nature related to our children. I think all and sundry should need, uh, would need to know um, some of what the Act provides for. So, again, I started doing that yesterday, and in the six minutes or five minutes that I can, um, let me just point to one thing in this act, and then I would, um, let me point to two things very quickly. I won't even use six minutes, okay. um, because, uh, you know, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. <laughs> so I'll come back another day and fight up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the administration, administration of the act, again, no act is worth anything unless it is properly administered and enforce. This is a very good act, and I think the nation of St. Vincent and the Grandines needs to know that the administration of this act lies in the lap of the minister. And um, currently, um, given our current ministerial um, structure, it is now under the portfolio of the Minister of um, Mobilization, etc., etc., etc. And um, so what the act says with respect to the administration, because people need to know on whom the, um, box, um, the box stops with the minister. The ball is in his court. Matters related to um, the abuse of children, the protection of children, um, and the adoption of children and citizens and the grandees. The act says the minister shall promote the development of procedures and mm -hmm. protocols. So the box stops with the minister, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and utilizing government with government, non-governmental agencies, families, corporations, business agencies, and the community to promote the care and suitable 
adoption of children. So the minister, again, I know you may want to call the police, you may say, I want to call Marion House, you ask who to call. The nation needs to know that this is under the portfolio of the minister. Secondly, in relation to that, that within that ministry, there's the establishment within the ministry responsible for social services. Listen to this, the office of the directorate of family services. So that is what the act provides for, that the minister or within that ministry, um, as part of one of the branches, organizational structure, there should be a director of family services. And the role of the director is to promote and safeguard the safety, the welfare, and well-being of a child. I'm just reading all of this, okay? It's, um, it's what's in the act, that we have this structure. People need to know who shall we go to, who shall we hold responsible, who shall we cry to. And, and the role there within the directorate of the family services is to assess and investigate or to cause to... Um, to cause an assessment to be undertaken. Um, once a report is coming in, you have to assess, you have to investigate, uh, and then you have to do follow-up. Um, like I said yesterday, but I won't get into details, um, uh, if the follow-up is given, you might decide uh, there is a fake report, or you might decide action needs to be taken, in which case you need to deploy and I'll talk about this tomorrow, time permitting, unless something comes up. You, I will explain how um, the follow-through should be done to ensure the care and protection of a child in St. Vincent and the Grandines. Ultimately, ultimately, what can potentially happen is that um, given the assessment, the directorate uh, has actually the legal authority to immediately search the home and remove the child from the home and any other child or children in that home um, immediately, even before going to court, as I read and understand it. Um, you have to do an immediate removal and then pursue on to that, you go through the court to um, see, uh, and pursue on to um, the analysis, assessment, the investigation, casework. You decide if there is sufficient ground to go to the court um, with documentation for removal of the child from that home and be placed in what we call child care services. Um, yesterday I said that those child care services would be like a boarding home, group home, foster home, residential care, et cetera, et cetera. So what I am saying, Daniel, is that we actually have a really good structure to care for our children in St. Vincent and the Grandines. We really have a good structure. What, what the issue is, is one, people are not aware. It, it, it's no point having the best cheesecake in the world, because I heard you talking about cheesecake with flex. It's not point having the best cheesecake in the world if you don't open the box and, and start eating on the thing and enjoying it. So we have a good structure, but people are so unaware um, of the mechanisms as to how it works. And I think that if people become aware um, as to the mechanisms of how it's, wo how it's going to work, or what are the um, hiccups, etc., etc., it will give us a better grasp as to how we can pursue the care of our children here in St. Vincent and Grandines. Once more, Daniel, I want to thank you for bringing this very, very important topic on the table and giving the opportunity for me to um, just highlight certain things to our listening audience um, that I hope will be helpful. But again, the Act is the Children Care and Adoption Act, and it makes great provisions for the care of our children here in St. Vincent and Grandines. Children Care and Adoption Act? Yes, of 2010. Children Care and Adoption Act of 2010. That's what I have. Okay. Thank you, Father. Pastor, <laughs> yeah. you said Father. I <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. I, I get that. I get that. You, you have a Catholic Catholic education. Yes, My yes. daughter also went to Catholic school, yes. but, and she also calls me Father, but for a different <laughs> reason. She only calls yes. me Father when she's upset at me. Mm. Other than that, it's Daddy. <laughs> I love it. Listen, you all have a great day, okay? All right, you too, Pastor. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Let's check in with the doc. the doc and look at things with a wider lens. Pastor Richards on OMG. Yo, 
Danny, yo, Bing, yeah, what's up, Flex? OMG in the morning, what's up next? Jill and Shady, they playing tune. Hitting from 10 to 1, throwing shades in the shade room. You keep rocking with the superstars. Ice cold district, galaxy, yeah, we by far. The best, oh yes, kid, got on his headphone. After four at work, we gon' touch road. With Diego and with the minister. Later, platinum juggling, so sinister. Tougher, laser puncher, big up Dr. King. Weapon our shit and everything. Good vibes, vibes. We're blazing tunes. So stay in tune, cause we're bringing the boom, boom. 1069. Have you hanging with the stars? You've been chilling on the moon. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. No, everybody say boom. Everybody say boom. 1069. We lighten up the morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. OMG in the morning. The Love Zone. The best R&B jams, period. Hear it. Hear it on Boom 1069. Here we go. Locking down the entire universe. It's District 106 on the Boom. Boom. Galaxy by far. And DJ Flex on the Evolution Station. Boom 1069. Yo, Danny, yo, Bing, yo, what's up, Flex? You know, every time that this... Oh, this is this is a real big tune. I think I've said that so many times. It's it's ridiculous. Anyway, this is where we got to say goodbye to you. Thank you for locking on with us for yet another OMG in the morning. I'm going to say goodbye on behalf of the entire crew, not just the Boom team, not just the OMG team, but also IKTV, who's with us, making sure that the Facebook Live is up and running from Monday to Thursday. So, Morales, thank you, thank you, thank you, as always. And big up to Chris. Uh, he's in the back. I've got to say shout out to Chris as well. Make sure that you keep it locked on because coming up next is Jill and Shady. They've got you covered in the Shade Room. And continue to listen to Boom 106.9 all day long to be a part of the big Father's Day promo. Remember to listen out for the queue. And when you do hear that queue, call us at 451-1069 or send us a WhatsApp message or voice note. Just let us know that important phrase that says dad is the boss of the house. And just like that, you're entered into a draw with the opportunity to win a huge hamper of gifts just for dad. All right, so signing off from you right now, hoping that you have a great day. Flex, you're going to take us out with this tune? Yeah. All right. Trust me, my friend, things go nice again, it must again. Good vibes is the aim, yes, it is the aim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Soca music must make we unite again. Cause we on lockdown, no road, no mass to drink gum. Who don't like the feeling to see when they got them go down? I want you to take time, I want you to sit down. I want you to remember where all that we came from. Cause right now I'm on the lake, they can't ambassade. And if you feel the same,